This is the bus ride I took from Animal Flower Cave, which is located right near the top of the island. Before I shared the view from the bus ride, I wanted to point out that while many people assume Barbados' coastline is nothing but beautiful sandy beaches, the northern coastline is dominated by rugged but equally beautiful cliffs that huge waves crash into every day. The north coast doesn't have a highway that runs along the beach like other parts of the island. Instead, the major roads cut through the interior of the parish of St. Lucie, which is the northernmost of Barbados' 11 parishes. As you can see, St. Lucie is a more rural area with a strong agricultural focus. It's known for being one of the more natural, undisturbed parishes in Barbados. I like the quiet, rustic feel it has. I wish I could tell you what its most commonly grown crops are, but I don't know. Maybe someone can leave a comment with more insight on that. One product that I do know is made here is Mount Gay Rum. The distillery in St. Lucie is the oldest continuously running rum distillery in the world, dating back to at least 1703. I took a tour of the distillery a few months ago, but indoor photography wasn't allowed, so there won't be a video dedicated to the tour. So for now, enjoy the sights of St. Lucie as we pass through some of the small communities that dot the parish.
As we reached Spitestown, which is in the neighboring parish of St. Peter, there was construction being done on the highway that goes through the town. So instead, we took a detour on Queen Street, which I would say is the busiest street in Spitestown. On this street is a restaurant called Orange Street Grocer, which, in addition to having a terrific view, I think makes the best pizza in Barbados. Yeah, that's a bold statement to make. If you disagree, tell me what place you think is better, and I'll tell you why you're wrong. As the detour ended and our bus made its way back to the highway to continue down the coast on this rainy afternoon, we pass by one final spot that I believe all good Bayesian videos should end, near the entrance to a chefette. 